they're, they're gonna nerf his, uh, his W so that it doesn't apply as passive anymore, which is pretty big, because... God, this music's too loud. Uh, the entire reason why Kha'Zix does so much damage with his W is because of his, uh, his passive procs on it, and that actually gives him a lot of damage. So when they take that out, uh, you're gonna notice that his poke is gonna be substantially weaker. I'm gonna start Dorn's Blade. So I like to start Dorn's Blade with Vamp uh, Vampiric, or what is it called? Uh, Life Steal Quince, because uh, it lets you, it just lets you sustain with auto attacks if, as long as you don't do anything stupid and like try to all in at level one or something, as Caitlyn. Let's investigate. But generally, like you'll see people run two or three uh, Life Steal Quince, and they'll start Dorn's Blade. <laughs> And as long as they play well enough, like, you should be able to, uh, Me? stay in lane for Me? a decent amount of time. Like, if you start Dorn's Blade and you have 0% lifesteal, and someone comes up and, and you trade and you get chunked, down to, like, let's say, like, 30 or 40%, uh, you're probably gonna have to go heal because your Dorn's Blade isn't gonna heal you fast enough and they're gonna keep forcing trades with you. And what the f What the fuck? Oh, our Shen is AFK. Nice. Nice! So, this makes number 11, I think. 11th game with the AFK slash DC. Oh, it's cold. We should have done wolves. But we took too long to get there, so we're not gonna do wolves. So let's see, what are we up against? We're against uh, Ezreal Blitzcrank, and they're probably going to do their doubles. So, yo, Thresh, walk up, walk up, walk up. Oh, I need him to walk up. See, if they if they hook Thresh, if they're, for some reason they're doing like bush tactics, which people don't usually do, but it's always a possibility. Um, and if I try to walk up, I'll get hooked. But I wanted to start pushing the lane because... Uh, they're gonna come to lane late because one of them's either leashing or they did doubles and One way to counteract this is to push the lane faster so that you hit level two Nice hook Oh, you got his flash Pop this passive so even if they did doubles which it doesn't look like they did because I think they would have hit two by now uh, it looks like we're, we're pretty far ahead now. Mmm, hold. Alright, nice. So you saw we, we pushed early. And now, they did hit level 2, uh, but we pushed a lot faster than them. So we're also level 2. And their, their advantage didn't really uh, do anything for them. God, why am I so fucking cold? Farming this and get up from my chair for a sec. I'm gonna push this all the way up. Caitlyn's just a pusher. That's that's how she lanes. You push, push and poke. But I'm not too worried about poking right now. I don't want to get hurt. So I'm just gonna push. I'm gonna wait for Thresh to do something before I go crazy. Sorry, boys. Oh, nice try. Oh, the fail hook. Alright, we can go up the poke now. God damn it. Alright, no, I'm gonna back up. Hold on. Alright. So cold. Whew. Oh, new news is going mid. Damn, this Blitz can't aim at all. Well, that was good. You don't have to worry about him. So just gonna keep pushing. Just keep poking him. He probably has life still too. I can't tell, but... I don't know if he did a whole lot of damage to him, but he's always sitting at full. I poked him a bit. It's not too bad. Let's investigate. There we go. 
This guy somehow healed up pretty quickly. I think he had pots. I'm not sure though. What's a CS? 36 to 27. Well, that's not too bad. That's almost about a 10 CS lead. This early is pretty good. I need to start placing traps. If we're gonna be ag this aggressive, I should uh, have some space control on them. Nice. I wasn't able to really follow that up because I used my Q on a wave clear. Oh yeah, I'm way far ahead of this guy in CS. I think I've hit almost every single CS so far. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm being really, really dumb right now. I know. I, s I really want the melee creeps, if anything. I'll, I'm okay with giving up the range, but the melee creeps are worth more. And uh, EXP and gold-wise, so I wanted to make sure I got those. Let's investigate. This chat is dead. That's because it's on sub mode and there's not too many subs here yet. Alright, I'm gonna build boots and a BF sword. The reason I'm skipping Vamp Scepter is because um, I have lifesteal quints. So, like, I already have decent healing. Not as much as a Vamp Scepter, but it's it's more than half. And BF sword's gonna give me a lot of lifesteal anyways because it ups my... Save my mana. So I'm gonna try to push without using too much mana. Or maybe we can freeze actually. Oh god, don't push, don't push. Too late, just start pushing. Well, he kind of ruined that. I don't know why he started randomly pushing. Because uh, it's not easy for them to roam right now. So I wanted to kind of deny them a bit. But... Well, this is okay too. We can get some uh, tower damage. It's not on the same page, but either way is fine. Like, we're pushing up while they leave, or while they buy. So we can actually take this tower down to almost dead. God. I know my hands are so cold. Ugh. Okay, last hitting's the easy part. They have no they have no presence in the lane, so... They're not, they're not uh, stopping me from last hitting at all. Which is, like, really, really easy for me to just farm. Let's try and can't land his hooks. It's just uh, makes it really easy for me. It's almost like I'm playing against bots because they don't they don't harass and they don't land hooks. We have more. We have a stronger lane presence. Uh, lane. Ooh. I need to keep placing traps. I keep forgetting. their exhaust. Oh, 
Does this guy have a vamp scepter? Hold on. Yeah. No, he doesn't. Okay. He either has life steal quints. Yeah, I think he does. Let's be aggressive. I'm gonna tank that mystic shot. Try to deny him some CS with it. Does I have life steal? I'm not gonna do it too often, but when I'm full HP and I'm not be I'm not able to use my life steal. Oh god. Nice. Uh oh. Oh my god. That was bad by me, I got hooked. I could have flashed out too, but I thought I would uh I thought I'd be able to tank enough. But I got hooked into the tower. I'm just gonna keep buying my eye edge. Well I should have flashed out immediately. Instead of just trying to tank it out with barrier. back in. Oh, he ran away with Chen. If he ran back in, he'd, he'd be able to get Chen in the fight. Son him. Ooh, nice. Holy shit. Oh, Italy's fed. Good game. Oh, he's gonna go heal. I'm gonna go do Wolves then. Let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna go do Wolves. I'll give him some time to get back. He just want, beat them 1v2. So Rengar's down here. I need to wait for Thresh. Thresh, please. What the? Oh, he's not coming. I don't think I can 1v1 this guy unless he's... Yeah. I need to push his uh, warded. I need Thresh to be down here. Or I can't do anything to this guy. He's going to try and jump to the creeps to get to me. I can't walk anywhere near that bush. So I'm going to place... I need to start placing traps on the... Creeps, so if he jumps to them. Oh, I missed. I'm bad. If I hit, I probably could have killed him. Yeah. No, I definitely could have killed him there. My bad. Yo, if you go hard. I got you. I should have just shot it sooner. I kind of waited. I don't know why they lane swapped. Yo, we can fight them. I would like to fight this guy. Item brush. They can't beat us? What the heck? This guy's almost dead. Yo, what the f- Alright, alright, that's fine too. I wanted to kill this Rengar though. Damn. Rengar was so close to dead. I, one headshot and my ulti would have killed him. Oh well. We can get him on our way back. Yeah, I'm gonna rush. Uh, I'm not. I'm skipping the Vamp Scepter for a while. I'm just gonna rush High Edge and go straight into... Um... Oh, goodbye. I'm not even gonna waste anything. Damn, he's been feeding. It's not worth anything. Alright, so I have Eye Edge. Ugh. Well. Oh, nice. Get red. So I want to get my Eye Edge, and I want to build a Zeal. And after the Zeal, I'm going to start maybe building a Last Whisper if they uh, start building armor. If they don't do that, then I'll just... Uh, I'll just build like a vamp set there or something. Okay, I'm not gonna let him know we're here. Nice, let's get this too. This guy's like trying to gank or something, no one's there. Alright, let's push the mid tower. I saw him being able to buy it, but it's okay. Damn. 
Oh, I don't have enough mana. Oh well. I didn't need mana to kill him with my ult. I really need to go by. I don't know if I should just ult this guy. I haven't used my ult once this game. I'm kind of just like sitting on the cooldown. What a bro. He just tanked it for him. Alright. Grab some attack speed. So I just picked up my Zerker Greaves because I could. if I could afford the Zeal, I would just buy the whole thing. But since I couldn't, the Berserker Greaves are just more efficient to buy right now. Oh, nice. Don't be caught flat-footed. I feel like even though Shen's Shen's just ulti, even though his jungle speed's really bad, just having an ulti in the jungle is just nice. Like it's gotten us so many kills this game. Wanna see a hat trick? Oh, better safe than sorry. If he did, if he wasn't sure he would live or not, it's better to just use it. Let's invest. Oh yeah, this guy's really tanky. I don't know what the deal with the lane swap was. They didn't even get their tower down. Generally, you swap when you take your tower, and you want to take the other tower. You don't really swap because it's like a, a... You could also swap because it's a bad matchup, but like in the middle of the game like this, generally, people will swap because like, for, for example, we took the first tower, it's a lot more dangerous to push the second one because you're way deeper into enemy territory, so if you want more towers, and it's harder for a single person to push than for two people, so you just like send the ranged AD carry up there with the support, and you just have the other guy 1v2 while the tower is down. And then once you get the side lanes down, then you like push mid and then you start moving. That's like how competitive games go, or like how faster paced competitive games go. But I think they just lane swap because Rengar is like, yeah, this mid is too fed. And then the problem with that is that, well, he's. Nidalee's so fed, she can still 1v2 these guys and beat them. Oh god. Wanna see a hat trick? I left bot lane because I didn't want to 1v1 this guy. And Nidalee go... Because like, I don't know. Yeah, I think it's better if Nidalee goes bot because our tower is down. We'll take top. Right. Oh, I guess I'll get it. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Uh oh, I think he's gonna get the tower. Your has been mm. Oh well, it's not too bad. Okay, so that's obviously warded. Wait, what are we doing? Okay, I guess we can group now. We have all towers down in the front row, so we can start warding their jungle and being more aggressive. Like, we ward up their jungle. Oh god, this guy's getting caught. Oh, the fails. Oh god, the fails. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna push this out. Hmm, she almost got a tower. Yeah, no one's gonna stop her. I'll take it. Oh, I should have taken it. Wanna see a hat trick? Oh. Well. Alright, so checking their team, they're all very glass cannony, so I don't really have to rush a last whisper. I can start building my BT after my zeal if I wanted to. Generally, you don't need to finish a Phantom Dancer, you can just stick with the zeal. Uh, with characters that have attack speed steroids, now Caitlyn doesn't really have an attack speed steroid. So if you really need attack speed, you can finish it, but you're spending a lot of gold on just attack speed and crit. And, I mean... I don't know, I kind of like to get the damage up first. Okay, I'm gonna stop it now. Uh, 
don't stop there, they're here. Oh, that... Okay. I, I didn't want to do it, but when they started doing it, I kind of wanted to help them. So I haven't. I kind of stopped farming for a bit. So we either need to take some, put some tower damage on, or. Ow. Nice. Yeah. I need a life steal. It's not gonna let me life steal. Well, that's not good. I don't want to. What? The... Oh God, he's still here. Thank you. Oh god, I might die to void spikes. Uh, okay. God, that was actually pretty scary. Fucking Rengar. Should be able to get the inhib tower. Might be a little risky, but I don't think they can counter Baron because they're pretty weak. No, they have no one to tank it. Okay, yeah, never mind, we can't. Oh god. Alright, well, I'll start tanking the tower at least. God bless. I don't know if they're chasing. <sighs> Maybe I should just build the BT right now. Hmm. Wouldn't that be something? Kinda wanna do it. Building like assassins, maybe I could just get... You know what I could do? I could actually just build a frozen mallet right now. And that would completely shit on their assassins, but I wanna be a carry, I don't really wanna do that. Wait, what the hell? Did I accidentally click on that shit? Oh my god. Maybe I didn't. Wait, no, that was someone else. Okay. I'm gonna finish that. I don't quite have enough for a Bloodthirster. I can actually do this. I don't have to finish the BT, I can just build a BF Sword and then finish my PD. And then I'll build the, the BT afterwards. Because I, I need some attack speed. I don't know if he has his ult or not, he's gonna jump back, isn't he? Oh, he's not doing anything. Right, I'm gonna place some traps to cover our Baron, just in case we're gonna do it. Oh, looks like we are. Well, we can bait it out. I wanna stand so that I'm not, uh, I'm not open. I wanna be inside my team. It's so just in case. They tried to stop us, I didn't want to like be out of position. Well, it's probably right here. I can't quite reach him yet. I could use my E to just Alright, this guy's dead. What the fuck? Okay, just let him die. I don't care. I'll chase him. Whew. Get him, dude. He's wasting his time. We can just end the game before taking hips. I can get my PD. Well, hello there. Alright, so this guy's. Walking across the entire world to try and survive. Oh, I pulled him back. Whatever. I thought he was gonna let him run. So. Oh, JK. 
Team, please. Save me right there. Thanks, team. Let me life steal. Oh god. Oh. God, I feel so bad right now. Like I'm playing so badly. Still, before I recall, I don't know if Rengar is ulting at me or not, so I'm just gonna run all the way. It's like, if he ults at me, he could probably one shot me because I don't have barrier up. I love a good chase. both and build this holy shit I'm fed An enemy has been slain. honestly though it would be better for me to build defense I don't need more damage but I just went with the damage because why not my team has so far done a really good job of protecting me when they dive me so I'm not too worried no. 